Dudes and dudettes, I'll tell you what. I did something so stupid today. Um, I filmed a bunch of videos about what I'm about to refilm. And my camera was on camera, not video. So all I took was three selfies. Yeah, I know. I'm serious. Like, like I was out here for a long time doing a video and went in there and I got the two follow-up videos, like the ends. It's already dark now. I started this hours ago because you'll see why. And, it, and, and I was taking selfies of myself. So before I get started, I want a, a quick um, thank you. So the other day, I'm a huge fan of, of Jasmine Kane and, uh, and her, her husband, Kevin's great. Um, we've seen her at all a bunch of rallies. She's rally famous, biker famous, if you don't know. Um, Google her, Jasmine Kane. Um, and when the pandemic started, we saw, we've seen her again at a bunch of rallies, but when the pandemic started, her and her husband started doing um, uh, uh, streaming concerts, not concerts, streaming performances from their home, um, just so you felt like a human being. Uh, I don't know if you guys did like the virtual rally they did years ago. I think Cycle Source did it where they had all the bartenders from the different places at Sturgis and Daytona make, make your own bikinis and stuff like you have at a rally they did from home. Um, anyway, so I think, I don't know if Jasmine performed that, but anyway, the whole thing was you, you found streaming content to, to keep you from losing your mind. And, and we started watching Jasmine perform from home at least once, if not twice a week for, for months. Um, and they were actually just down here in Florida. I did get to see her at a little like, you know, quaint little like uh, acoustic thing where we stayed, kept distance and stuff and saw her at Cafe 27, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, on Twitch, which is where she streams now. So you go to twitch.tv slash Jasmine Kane or just Google Twitch Jasmine Kane. Uh, if you want to follow her uh, when she performs, it's a lot of fun. Um, anywho, uh, I was watching a performance the other day and I said, hi, you can chat, you know, and say hi in the chat. And I, and I heard this blood curdling scream. I mean, we're talking like, like when a teenage girl in the nineties, like when they saw new kids in the block, that kind of shriek, you know, that just twists your spine. Uh, it was me. It was me because Jasmine and Kevin said, oh my God, you gotta go check out this guy's channel, Professional Monkey. So that's a very long way of saying thank you. But, but they, they actually, promoted the channel the other day and evidently they watched. So, hi Jasmine, hi Kevin. Anyway, um, so um, I did a thing and that's what I'm, I'm, I'm recording about today. I, I said I was gonna do this the other day, but I, I did and here we go. So I bought a 2021 Ultra Limited. Um, there's no way I will remember the video I did earlier about everything I saw. The reveal was a couple hours ago. I bought mine yesterday. Um, this is a chrome finished limited. So it, it, it's not a CVO, you know, obviously it's just, a, it's, a, it's a limited. So it's got uh, the 114 motor. It has a painted interfering, um, uh, cool new dash lights. I don't know if those are new for 21 or what, but those are, those are cool. You know, those are kind of fun compared to, uh, um, the old orange lights. Shut up. The old orange lights, um, which I like. So that's cool. Um, it's got this trash control system, RDRS, which has a wet weather mode, which is supposed to pull power. Uh, you can also press that button and hold it. So if you want to do a burnout, you can press and hold that button and it will, uh, it will turn off the uh, trash control. But I do like that dash and the, the gloss black paint. Why did I choose black when all these cool new colors are coming out? Because um, I like friggin' black. Um, I like black and I like chrome. That's 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 my thing. Always has been. This this CVO here is like the only. Look, it has two seats. Oh, uh, this CVO here is the only bike I've ever bought that's like colorful and flashy. I, I normally just get a black bike and chrome it out. The same thing that we've done since I was a kid, you know, with my dad's bikes. But um, so here here's a, a quick review, I guess, on this new 21. I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Um, to recap, in an earlier video I showed where my wife had a 2018 Heritage. Bear with me for a minute. Um, um, where's my... Good Lord! Um, this is apple juice. I'm not monetized, doesn't matter. Um, so this is my apple juice. 
made by an apple juice maker called Basil Hayden's. Um, oh look, I'm chemically dependent. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so um, my wife had a 2018 Heritage um, that she loved that we bought brand new in 19. Uh, I told her then she's gonna want a bagger. We ride a lot. Um, we do some decent distance, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, you don't want a bagger, you don't want a bagger. And she, she was like, no, they're too heavy, et cetera. Well, <laughs> I think about 90 days in, she thought she made a mistake, but she kept that bike for about a year and a half, put about 7,000 miles on it in that year and a half. And finally, not that long ago, uh, when we had been out for a ride, I said, get on that CBO and take it for a ride and tell me if you don't want a bagger. And she rode the CBO and said, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's a, so in her mind, a bagger was too big or too heavy, um, which was all in her head because she got on that sucker, rode it around like it was fine, gunned it pretty hard. Uh, came back and was like, yeah, there's nothing to that. I went ahead and I went one of those. So I started shopping for what I was going to do, whether it be trading her heritage and get a regular road glide, a regular street glide, whatever. And what I decided was to give her the CBO and then I was going to buy another limited, another ultra. My previous bike to this one was a 2018 road glide ultra. Um, as soon as she got her own bike is when I said, well, I don't need an ultra anymore. So I, I went and got the CBO, and I missed my Ultra, I always did. Um, the storage is great. Um, I love a tour pack. There's my full face. I don't know, you can't really see it's dark. My uh, boost there that I keep charging for the brothers and sisters in the organization that I'm a part of but do not represent when their batteries die, which is a very regular occurrence. Uh, and again, I, I wear my, my, my skull cap or my jockey out here just keeps sun off my head here in Florida, but I do because we live in hurricane land. I like having that full face in my tour pack because when I hit serious weather, that's nice, you know, and be able to flip that out. Um, so I just, I like an ultra, I like a full dresser. Uh, this guy here is gonna have some changes done to it that I have not done tonight. I've done some stuff already. That was what I was done earlier. I had all the parts laid out and I said, this is what I'm gonna do. And, when I was taking selfies instead of freaking videos. So, um, missed all that stuff of what I was gonna do. Now you just get to see in the next little clip here, I'll advance on to uh, what I did. But um, the major change that I've noticed in 21, um, besides, you may have heard the rumbling, and, and if you haven't, I'll go ahead and cover it. Uh, they went from the hydraulic clutch. You can see right here, this guy has a reservoir. It has a hydraulic clutch. It's very nice and soft. Um, it's, it's, it's a really easy clutch. It's great for traffic and stuff. It is not adjustable for shit, um, which is fine because mine is perfect. Perfect for me. I've never had a problem with it. Um, evidently, tons of people did. I didn't. Um, so they did change from a hydraulic clutch back to an old school mechanical clutch. You can't see that. It's dark, but there is an out. There's a clutch cable there, you know, instead of a reservoir. Um, at first I was disappointed because I, again, I liked my hydraulic clutch and I thought it was, you know, cutting costs. But when you hear the number of people who said, no, we really want the mechanical clutch, including the dude that that's the cop that does training, um, the how to ride videos, they're at all the rallies too. That guy swears by, you know, a mechanical clutch that you can adjust it, get it right. It's easier to get into friction zone, et cetera, et cetera. So he's a fan. Uh, when I rode this home yesterday, it was, it had five miles on it. Um, when I rode it home yesterday, I did notice the clutch engages right away, which is kind of cool. And it does in fact make it easier to manage the friction zone. So yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I mean, at very worst, I'm indifferent, indifferent at this point. I think it's fine. Um, the thing I did notice that I haven't seen anyone else talk about is it seems like they have stage one audio in the fairings now. I don't know. Um, the 2020 ultra limited has the right phone speakers like they are in the tour pack, which they obviously still are here. But look at there, these are metal grills, you know, whatever on the speakers. I don't know if that's just cosmetic or if they have the equivalent of a stage one audio in there. I don't know. Um, this is the same stereo as my CBO without the amps. My, my CBO has what was the stage two boom 650 watt stereo. This is the 25 watt. Um, I saw on the reveal today that they have a partnership now with Rockford Fosgate um, where the CBOs have those stereos. I immediately went and poked around and yeah, you can buy basically the CVO stereo now 
uh, and a bunch of different packages. So it seems way more practical. The old, the old system, the old like audio upgrades made no friggin' sense to me. And I wasn't in the market for it because my bike already had it. But I might do some tweaking to the stereo and the, and the fairing because um, when the quick release is installed on my tour pack, which I don't know if I've said that yet, but yes, the quick release is going to be installed on my tour pack so I can run this with no tour pack and put my seat, my stock CVO seat on this when I want to um, and just run around, you know, as sort of a bar hopper-ish. Um, I don't want to lose half my speakers, lose half my volume, whatnot, so I might punch up the stereo and the fairing. But go to the Carly's website and look at the... the the actually all the way down, I think the 14s, you can still buy the Rockford Fosgate stuff. So um, that's kind of cool. So I, I apologize for all the stuff that, that I, I deleted earlier that was actually laying out what I was doing to it. Um, but uh, essentially there is my 2021 Vivid Black uh, Ultra Limited. Um, I'd, I'd love your, your feedback. I'd love to know what your thoughts or questions are. I'm, I'm in to answer them and give you a review. Um, but you know, I rode at home with the stock mufflers, obviously stock bike, completely stock bike. And it just pained me cause I hate stock motorcycles and, uh, immediately got home and, and started taking everything off that I could and putting on stuff that uh, I already had. So, uh, in the first 24 hours of ownership, I've changed out the taillight, the mufflers, uh, added some Chrome to the floorboards, the brake pe pedal, the highway, I'm sorry, the, uh, 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 highway pegs have been added, some little chrome dress up on the front end, um, mirrors, my stupid ram mount that, you know, you need sometimes when you're on long trips, because again, I've said, and this will be like the third time, the friggin' iPhone plus, the big phone doesn't fit in the goddamn phone thing in this fairing, which is just asinine. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's it. I, 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 I'm sorry. I missed all the other stuff, but let me know your questions. It's, it's, it's overall the little things I've noticed, this little medallion. I, ha I will say this. One of the reasons I was excited to get this bike is it's, lot, it's a lot, in my opinion, less old man. It's not a geezer glide nearly as much as the older ones. And the reason why is it's no longer striped. Look at that. She is solid black. There is no stripe on the, the, the bags, nothing on the tank, nothing on the fender. You know, fairing is just black. I mean, it is a black motorcycle, nothing else. And check this out. No more mud flap, you know, <laughs> finisher on the on the rear of the fender. No no tip, chrome tip that used to come on them. Uh, even my, my 18 had all that stuff. Um, the rear, again, no finisher on the rear fender. Just that medallion. Uh, new graphics on the on the tour pack there. Whoop. Um, so yeah, I mean it's it's uh I think it's a lot less geezerish. It's gonna be much better when I get my my heavy breather on there. That'll give the engine a little something something. Um but again, I can't tune it yet, evidently. That's what they say. I'm gonna I'm gonna poke around and find out. Um exhaust. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do in the long run. I'd love input. Um I'm not going to stretch the bags and all that stuff. I'm going to leave the rear end as it is. I actually, as soon as things become common, I don't like them anymore. And every bike's stretched, including my friggin' this one. Every bike has a stretched rear end and all that. And I, and, and I you know, actually like being unique, so I'm not doing that. I'm leaving the rear end as it is, but I will change this exhaust one way or the other. Either I'm going to do an SNS 2 into one Sidewinder, um, or... I might again do the same head pipe I did on the, the CVO, which is made by Fuel Moto. It's their line called the Jackpot. Um, it's a really, really good head pipe, but it's also uh, uh, cheap, really, in comparison to all that others. Um, it only replaces the right side two into one. You still use the factory crossover, uh, and it uses the factory chrome shields, chrome, uh, chrome heat shields. So that 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 looks like stock exhaust, but it ain't. You know, under there is that is that fuel moto jackpot. So I might I might do the same thing here to open her up. Um, my CVO is TTS tuned by professionally on a dyno. She's about a hundred and I think about hundred and twenty horse and about hundred and thirty torque. Um, this guy's probably not going to get professionally tuned, and I'm going to use the Screaming Eagle tuner um, because I just don't. I, I was lucky with this guy because I screw with it so much and. It's out of its, its factory warranty now anyway, but um, 
I just plan on riding this one. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do anything crazy to the motor. I'll do exhaust and I'll do intake and stuff, but I'm gonna leave the Screaming Eagle tuner. It'll be EPA compliant. Uh, it'll run lean and burn the friggin' exhaust valves, but it's, you know, I bought the warranty, so it's their friggin' problem uh, when it does, but I'm not, I'm not uh, gonna do anything crazy to the motor right away. When the warranty expires, I'll put a, probably a 180 in it by that time, right? Whatever S&S or, you know, comes out with by then, it's up to a 131 from Harley, and I think S&S is a 124 still. But um, when, the, when it has no warranty, maybe I'll do something stupid to it. But again, ask questions. Thanks for following. I always forget to say like, comment, subscribe. Evidently, people on YouTube say that, and I always forget. So um, thanks a bunch, and we'll talk soon. Uh, next will be the videos where I actually show everything I did to it, because I'm an idiot. See y'all. Bye. Howdy. Um, so we were successful in our efforts to do things and stuff. So, <coughs> ah, um, interruptions from the wife and the child and whatnot. And I got a freaking boo-boo. Yeah. Smash my finger with a hammer while putting these mufflers on. Because that's just, that's a thing. It's just what you do. Went inside, tried to get sympathy from the wife. She didn't care. So, anyway, that's how that goes. So, anyway, so, um. Here we go, let's look at the new mufflers, which you can't see because it's dark now, I'm sorry. Those are the s, &S Mark 45s or MK 45s. I did take the uh, decibel reducers out. Don't know if they'll stay that way. I prefer loud, but I also prefer my, my stuff to run right. And um, I've had problems with the bikes not having enough back pressure. What in the hell? It's a child being obnoxious. Anyway. um. So yeah, so when I ran those same pipes that were on the CVO and I took the decibel reducers out, the bike just, it, this bike needs back pressure though. It didn't run right. So we'll see how this one does. Um, it's got a stock air cleaner still, because again, I, I have the, uh, you can't see me. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Oh, that's better. All right, so I have the tuner bought, but there's no maps out, supposedly. I kind of think it's BS, because what's the difference between the 20 and 21? I mean, motor didn't change, so what does it matter? So I might... I might just screw with that anyway, because um, I don't. I hate stock air cleaners, um, and uh, that's just sitting there looking all pretty and ready to go on. So I don't, I don't know. I may look into that tomorrow. Um, so what I did, I put the chrome covers on the floorboards, which if you if you don't have those, that's a stupid easy thing to do. Um, I think they're like seventy bucks. I don't know. But you, you basically just drill a little 5 uh, pilot hole in the bottom of the board, stick your cover on, and it comes with two uh, self-tapping screws, and shoom, right on in there. So um, that's an easy, nice little dress-up piece. Um, I have heard dudes say they're terrified of drilling the holes in the boards. It's, it's not hard. You just go slow, and as soon as she pops through, you stop. I mean, um, so many appropriate things to say. All right. Um, and then uh, out of my, my old uh, highway pegs off my old bike, the old mounts, and put those on and got them adjusted. I'm sure they're crooked. I'm sure they're just all over the damn place and going to be awful because that's how highway pegs are. You put them on and then you put with them for about three years to get them straight. Put a brake pedal pad on it, which is funny. I realized it's the same one that's on there. I think that's kind of funny. So um, we match. And so we have that. Um, what else? Oh. Did a bunch of mirror swapping, so those are mirrors off my CVO. Um, these are the ones my wife had on her heritage. She loves the split thing, which is awesome down here in South Florida where people are stupid and don't know how to ride. So I flipped those things around and stalkers from this ended up on the hair. You know how that stuff goes, where it's like a merry-go-round of parts. So that's done. Um, in the back, in the rear, Besides the pipes, um, I did put that LED tail light on it. You can't see that. I eliminated that back plastic piece that holds the license plate and mounted her upright with a frame. Um, you ultra dudes know that they come with an extra license plate mount over the Big Meister uh, license plate mount, which is stupid and annoying. Um, someone told me once it's to move the plate down. So like the main mount that's there is too high and therefore like uh, uh, toll cameras can't see it, so they add this plastic piece to it to shift it down about a half inch. I, that's what I've been told. So I pull that off on every Ultra I see and just mount the plate straight to the big mount like you're supposed to. Um, I had custom dynamics, not not Pro Beams, but custom dynamics in a drawer for my old, old, old uh, Rogue Light Ultra, so I popped those on. Um, so you can see, which is just changing a bulb. You can change a bulb, you can do this. 
but there those are. Um, and then you see when you hit the turn signal, they flash orange, as one would expect. Um, they don't fast flash on the newer bikes. You can just hit hazard and it'll resync. I look like a sh the shadow. No. Um, so they will, um, they'll sync when you hit hazard. They'll all go back in time. Um, I put my wonderfully cheesy chrome Amazon axle nut covers on, which I don't know why they always do that, but I did. And, and, and the Harley ones come with tons of blue Loctite on them with a single little, little uh, retaining screw. And every time I put them on, they can never come off again. You ruin them to do that. And this one, these cheesy ones, they came with um, two retaining screws per and not too much Loctite. And it even came with extra, look at that, it even came with extra little retaining screws. I mean, like, I don't think I paid, I don't know, something stupid, like $17. So I'm like, I, I don't know. Sometimes, man, cheap Chinese stuff in bed, especially since the Harley stuff came from China anyway. Any of you remember many, many years ago, there was a um, an ad campaign, probably around the period of this guy, from the mid 90s. And it said, don't butcher your hog with foreign parts. Um, and my father, his friends, uncles, whatnot, they, they fully believed in that. You know, not a single part one of their bikes that didn't come from the Harley dealership. And those days are long gone. So, I don't know, I, I buy Harley stuff a lot, but I also a lot. If I find something that's got good ratings and people tend to like it, I'll buy that. So, um, I want to put my ram mount on so that I can look like a tool going down the highway with my phone there. Because again, it doesn't fit in there. Stupid. Um, but I've got that. That comes off easy and will come off right now because they look ridiculous. Um, got to change the windshield still. Got to change the seat. I realize that I have my, my father's old seat from his freewheeler, his trike, which is sort of like a stock street glide seat but better it's a little wider the pan is is a little better but it's not as big as this you know couch that comes on it which these are fine don't get me wrong if you're looking to do long distance and you're looking for pillowy soft whatever i tell everyone just buy it find yourself a used uh ultra seat it's about the most comfortable thing on earth and it's all but confirmed that it's made by mustang so you know but still it just looks huge and it's moving me really far forward and I'm sitting really up high, so I'm gonna pop that sucker on for a bit and see see how that works. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I did to it this time. I didn't change the crash bars on the bags yet, but I will. Um, yeah, no, I think that's about it for today. But there it is, there's the 2021 Ultra Classic Limited. Um, one thing I noticed from the, re the reveal today, I don't know if you all watched that, and I did. Um, I am gonna change these tank badges, so those aren't bad, but the the specials have a bar and shield on the tank, which I think looks awesome. And I love any old logo, so I'm gonna definitely figure out a way to get my parts guys up at the dealer to flub a VIN number, or maybe they don't even have to, I don't know, to order me two of those and pop those off, because I, I would love a chrome bar and shield on my tank, on my black bike, so. Um, chrome forks should go on Friday, I think. My KSTs won't go on it for probably another week or whatever when they come in. I don't have time to go back and forth to the dealer all the time. The dealer I go to is 60 miles from my house, which is not the end of the world, but I do still work and have a little kid and all that stuff. So that's it. Um, Want to know what you think, your thoughts, your questions, any concerns you have, uh, any ideas. Uh, I'm, you know, My goal is to sort of build a uh, CVO-esque bike that's only black, which is what I wanted, so with Chrome black and chrome. Um, talk to y'all later. See you. Bye. Sorry. One last update to the updates on the update. Um, I put that seat on. I just want to show you kind of cool. Um, I think it doesn't look bad. So this little spot, I'm sure it'll come out. That's from where it was stored in my garage. It was something was pushing on it, but I, I think that'll come out. It's just stretched. It's not, there's not a hole. It's just a bit stretched there. So I think it'll come out, but so again, that's the stock seat from a freewheeler, the, the Road King trike, not the, you know, not the tri-glide, but the littler one. Um, not littler, you know what I mean, the one on the fairing. But that's the stock seat from a freewheeler my dad used to have. And he actually had put a, an old used Ultra seat on it. We just left it on, we traded it in. And uh, so that was a bit of my garage. So it's got kind of a different texture and stuff than a stock, you know, 
Street Glide, Road Glide seat. It's, it's a little better than one of those. I've ridden it one year in Sturgis when we were riding two up uh, for a day or so, and it wasn't bad. Um, so anyway, I mean, you can see it's smaller than what was on there, but I don't think it looks that bad. So interested in what you think. Um, there's a stalker. <laughs> you get an idea of the difference, but... Um, so yeah, I mean, we got that guy, which looks a little better until until my quick release gets on the tour pack and I can put my CVO seat on it. Um, that won't be bad. So now I'm done. I'll leave you alone. See you. Bye.